Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, then welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen. And today we are watching season three, episode 13 of The Expanse, which means we have reached the season finale of season three. <sighs> I am not ready. I'm not ready. You know, I'm just gonna straight up tell you that I'm not ready because I'm scared. <laughs> After the way the last episode ended with Ashford basically wanting to kamikaze, I think is the proper word, I don't know, commit suicide, like not really commit suicide, but he wants to sacrifice all of them in order to save the rest of the universe, which is a good plan, but like also I don't want all of my favorite people to die, so no, you know? <laughs> I don't want to ramble too much at the beginning of this episode you guys because I just want to watch it and experience whatever the hell this episode is going to be but I would like to say because I think you're going to be seeing this on Christmas Merry Christmas and thank you for sticking with me for all of this it's been fun and exciting and I can't believe I'm almost on season four and season five is airing right now and yeah. Anyway, Merry Christmas, you guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you for sticking with me and this amazing show. Thank you for always talking to me and chatting with me about it because I honestly, that's my favorite part. And yeah, without any further ado, let's just get into it. It's about goddamn time. Man, what's going on with this thing? So Miller this came back. Just get me to arm my fucking body. I know it seems crazy. I know how to fix this. Does he? <sighs> Sorry, I should stop. I should stop. Ashford, it's drama. I mean, I was just going to come to see. I've been talking to Holden. He says he knows how to get us out of this mess. He believes he can convince the station that we are not a threat. Let him talk to it. The station killed thousands of us for no reason. There was a reason. We are not the threat here. Ashford's coming for us. He will not let us do this. We can tie you up if you want. Me and you. Eros, Ganymede. And Belta also. So he can defend himself. We need to shut down every reactor in the flotilla. How oh, is that all? Or we can wait for it to decide if we're safe or as red mist. What do you need from us? Go find Monica Stewart and Cohen and tell them everything I'm telling you. Yeah. They can use the inner ship relief channel to get the message out. The second we tap in, they'll know exactly where we are. There's no way to hide that. We will send people after you. Defend yourself. Need some guns. Yes. I'll send you access codes to the security yes. level. Even given the circumstances, it's nice to have you back. Good hunt, Cap. You too. Team, 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 spec together. Team, spec together. Team, spec together. Anna, she can help. Yes, she can help. You need her. Unless we can convince a whole lot of people to do something they're not going to want to do. Everybody's going to die. Go with them. <sighs> Go with them. Holding gone from the brig. <laughs> and Negata. Find them. Me on it, both men. You can count on me. I'm not mad at you, Ashford, but I don't like you. What the fuck happened to that guy? We have something we need you. <gasps> Ooh. What I've heard is the answer is no. Yeah. Where's Cohen? We're going to need a tech. Cohen is dead. Cut in half walking through a door. Then we feel guilty that Cohen is dead. He doesn't. I don't. Yeah. And I never will. So let's just skip the bullshit to where you agree to help. The station is going to destroy us. All of us. Holden knows how to stop it. You want answers? We have them. Should have led with that. Well, that's why they brought her. So, you know what? <laughs> Amos is not a people person. You know, it's not his fault. It's just not his strong suit. I love them. Yeah, let's the end. Mm. Don't trust me out though. Oh shit. Oh. Uh. Get away from the controls now. That is so freaking badass. We get out of this, we have to find a way to 
understand each other to explain why we made the choices that we did. She's right. Hate is a burden. You don't have to carry it with you. I'm not gonna let anyone hurt you. <laughs> he gets so protective, y'all. Naomi believes you're right. She would die for you. I mean, to make sure she doesn't. It really makes me cry in this episode. Fuck. Ashford, we know what you're trying to do. You cannot destroy the ring. There's a way to save us all. That is not the point. Even if the station doesn't kill all of us, now others will come through the ring. Even if we all survive, we're leaving behind an unexploded bomb. Holden is right. You will be the one setting it off. This is Monica Stewart reporting on the Internship Relief Channel with an urgent message for everyone in the flotilla. I am here with Anna Volovodov. She was instrumental in exposing UN Undersecretary Aaron Wright. Treason and helped end the war. She has credibility. We need to power down every reactor on every ship. This will demonstrate that we are not a threat. Is what she's saying true? Yes. There a chance. I say we try. Yes. Try to live. Choose life. We're not gonna die here. I say Ashford. Let people choose to try to live. Does anyone else wish to debate with me? That's a shitty way to do it, Ashford. It'll take a while for the broadcast to convince everyone. It's fucking Diogo. <gasps> oh no, we we're not we're not shooting Bobby, right? No, no, don't hurt Bobby, don't hurt Bobby. This is gunnery sergeant Roberta threat for Martian Marine Corps. Bobby? <laughs> Alex? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god, please just be friends. Be friends. Be friends. Do you think a truly good act at the end of your life can make up for the terrible things you've done? She's gonna help them. Believe that is true. She's gonna help hold him. You need to surrender now. Okay. Don't you fucking do it. I just wanna talk. Oh no, I'm scared. All right. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't care that she's your friend. If she tries to stop us, I'm putting her down. I don't wanna hurt you. Don't make me. Actually, I'm here to keep Amos from hurting you. I'm not even sure it's the whole thing we know that came back. It is. Around, put his life on the line, trying to save everyone. Sounds like the Holden we know. Mm-hmm. <gasps> yes! No, 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 no. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No. She shot, though. No, she got shot. She got shot. Is Bobby okay? No, she got shot. Can we? Well, we gotta do it's rescue Gunny, okay? Cause, like, I'm not okay with that. There's no one we stay ahead of those suits. You keep going. I can handle Diogo Harari. No, you can't. You mean the grenades? I. I'm sorry I came to kill you. You know me. Tell Naomi I said that. <laughs> no! I will. You guys, are they gonna make me upset about her again? Like, I can't. Ashford's right. It won't make any difference if we shut down the prince. But if he's wrong, shouldn't we at least try? Yes. Yes. You should at least try. You should at least fucking try. Just fucking kill him. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill your- He's not fucking worth it. Mina is okay, and Diogo, like, ha, 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 fuck you. Okay. Laser no. control to Sabotage it. Sabotage it. Melba. Melba, Clarissa. Firing. No! What happened? We miss. Laser was misaligned. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Clarissa. Clarissa! Oh, fuck. They're at the bridge. Oh! Trust 
podcast. I love you. Mm, he's scared he's gonna die. He's scared he's gonna die. Better not fucking die. Run armed. Don't shoot. All the other ships are powering down. You're trying to save lives. So am I. I am too. Yeah. But we're on the brink right now because we keep reacting to things we don't understand. Yes. We're hurt and we're reaching for violence because we can't figure out what to do. But just this once, can't we try something else? Yes. Try talking. Shut up. <sighs> Clarissa, Clarissa, yes. Yes. She's for David herself. She's doing it. Oh, don't. I don't want to even kill Asterix, but like, do it, girl. Do it, girl. She did it. Oh. Is it, it's, it's listening. It's understanding, right? It understood, right? Right or no? Is this bad? Is something bad happening? I don't know. So, so, so it did work? It's just, it's letting them leave? You haven't been straight with me, Lord. After all the pain and death, you just flip a switch and we're free to go. Just like that. Nice try. I think you were trying to open the ring gates from the beginning. That was the plan. And what I want to know now is... Why? Are we, I mean humanity, are we part of that plan? It was never about helping us. She's trying, like... I like her again. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Okay. Because I need to know. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Thirteen hundred habitable systems on the other side of those rings. What? You know we're gonna go. Yeah. We won't be able to resist. Of course. It's gonna be another blood-soaked gold rush. Christian! I've missed you, girl. Thirty-seven? Is that what he said? Fuck. The civilization that built the rings is gone. But something destroyed it. What could have killed them? A more powerful. I'd like to know. I need a brown eye. Does this even get to keep Miller though? Cause like, kind of here for it. I didn't even think about that, you guys. Oh my gosh, these are rings to other fucking solar systems. Is that what they said? I think so. What the fuck was that? No, don't you, don't you, don't, don't. <sighs> you know. I, I expected it, but like, I'm still upset by it. <laughs> you guys, I forgot to write anything down because I was too into the episode, but now like, I'm not gonna be able to like, go through my list and make sure I talk about shit. So like, Okay, you guys, so I took a second to write down some of the things in the episode so I can reference them because I forgot to write any freaking notes. But like, holy shit. Okay, the way that ended, one, the way this ended, I'm kind of like even more upset that it's going to end with season six because I just feel like there's so much possibility with all these other systems that they can travel to to just have a a lot more seasons of this show and so I'm high key sad that we're only gonna get three more or I get three more right because I have four or five and then eventually six everyone is on five right now and then they'll get six but like yeah I don't know the show you guys it's just it's just so good it's just so good it's so it's so good it's so good it's so good it's so good this episode like, I laughed, yes, I cried, yes, like, it's what I expected, you know? I was really scared and stressed throughout a lot of it, so. How do I talk about this? How do I talk about this? Let me try to, like, form coherent thoughts. First, let's talk about Ashford, because somebody told me in the comments, like, I would probably dislike Ashford again before I liked him again, you know? And I'm assuming that they're talking about in, like, the last episode and this episode especially, right? And the thing is, I I don't dislike him again, like again, but I because I understand where he's coming from. I 
definitely disagree. And I think that, like I think I said in the last post episode discussion, you should always try and talk first, you know, you should always try and talk before you resort to any other sort of action. So I was really frustrated by his his inability to see another way besides the way that he believed was the right way. But I do understand and I, I see where he's coming from. He's thinking like, if I have to sacrifice myself so that the people on Earth and like the rest of humanity and the people on Mars, the belt, everybody, so they can continue living, then that's a sacrifice. My throat made a really weird noise. Then that's a sacrifice that he's willing to make. But I think that when presented with another option, he should have at least been willing to try that other option before resorting to that. I think that that sort of thing should be the last resort. Like you have no other option, you know, like this is it kind of thing. And I think that it was frustrating to me to see that he wasn't willing to listen to Kamina. He wasn't willing to listen to Holden. He wasn't willing to listen to really anybody and try to take their advice in the situation, especially because Holden, which I understand he can like, it seems crazy kind of right from an outside perspective. But at the same time, what about the fact that you're in a ring and that the proto molecule exists isn't already crazy, you know, so I don't know. I feel like in that instance, you should just kind of go with it. And I think that as much as I like Ashford, I think that that kind of to me proves why Drummer should be captain and not him because he's not willing to change his opinion when presented with new and different facts. Speaking of Drummer, they tried to fucking scare me like they they did they scared me they made me think that i was gonna have to actually say goodbye to her in this episode and like i was like just throw the bomb at diogo like honestly like kill him like i don't give a fuck like he's not worth you dying over hun and i'm really glad that uh naomi i don't know what she did she hit him with the elevator hopefully he is squished and you know no longer able to be an annoying little shit but you know maybe that's a dark way to look at it but i just don't like him i don't like him i don't like him i feel like he takes he's too much like dawes that's just my opinion <laughs> and unlike ashford this one is not gonna change you guys like I, I i don't i don't see it changing speaking of my opinion changing i have gone back to liking clarissa again you know because again like i said in the last episode i can understand why she did the shit that she did you know and I don't excuse it because it was pretty fucked up shit. But I think that her helping Holden and them, I think that it went towards her redeeming herself. You know, I think that her saying to Ashford, do you think that one good act at the end of your life, even if you know you've done shitty stuff before, can like make up for that? And Ashford thinks that she's gonna help him because, you know, that's the good act that she's trying to do. But really, and I knew, I knew, because she was listening in the cell when Anna was talking to her, and then she heard Holden, and I think she started, her opinion of him started to shift. And I knew that she was gonna, I, well, I thought that she was going to be willing to sacrifice herself and do a selfless act in order to right the wrongs that she did, at least in an attempt to right the wrongs that she did. And I'm still really upset about Tilly. Doesn't bring Tilly back, you know, doesn't bring that poor mechanic guy back. It doesn't bring those people back. But I do think that we have to allow for characters to be flawed. And so it is a flaw that, I don't know, I think that I could grow to really like her as a character. And, you know, we're just gonna have to see if that's the case or not, you know. I also super loved Amos and Anna, Anna in this episode. I thought that they just had really great scenes. I loved them in the last episode and I loved them in this episode. And I love how vehemently protective Amos gets ar around Anna and around people like Anna, you know, she he knows that she's a good person. He's like, look, I 
can't care about this shit. Like I don't and I can't and it's, I'm just not going to, you know. And Anna is saying, you know, hate only hurts you. It It's a burden that you don't have to bear. You can let go of it. You can move past it and all this stuff. And he is shaken by that. You can see on his face that he is, it hits him, you know. And it just makes me want to know. <sighs> I just, I just, I just want to know more about him, you know? I want to know if she reminds him of somebody. I want to know if he needed somebody like her and he didn't have them or if somebody like her was there when he needed them or if she reminds him of his mother. We don't really know about his family or his mom or anything. And it just gets me, you know, to see Amos because he's almost vulnerable in those moments where he's like, I will not let anything bad happen to you. Okay. Because he cares, you know, he cares that something bad could happen to her, you know, which is in contrast to like, not that long later when Bobby is, you know, coming for them. And Amos is like, look, dude, I know she's your friend. But if I got to kill her, I got to kill her. Like, I'm sorry. Like, um, but he's also not sorry, you know, so it's like, I'm really glad that Bobby's fine, by the way, but I don't know, I just, I love to see Amos in contrast to people that are so performatively empathetic, if that makes sense, because I do feel like Amos cares, and I feel like he has that capability, and he has, like, a part of him has to care, or else he wouldn't get protective over people like Anna you know what I mean so it's just interesting to see, to see him with those kinds of characters and I just enjoy it now we're gonna go back to Bobby okay Bobby is okay and she is on board the Rosinante I'm sure that I left that part in I got real fucking hype you guys because is she joining my crew is she joining my crew because I want her to be a part of my crew so bad you guys so bad I mean she has to at this point this is like the second time that she has sort of chosen to side with not Mars, you know? So I think that she kind of maybe should just stay with the Rosinante now. Also, are we going outside of the system? Because like, I'm confused. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a second. But first, I think the last thing that I have to talk about, like in this section is Holden and Naomi and Kamina. I did talk about it a little bit, but I loved Kamina just when she tried to save Holden, you know, and Holden's like, no, I'm not going to leave you. And she's like, tell Naomi, I'm sorry, I tried to kill you. You know, like, that's all she cared about. Like, she was going to die. And that was her dying wish was that Naomi know that, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, you guys, that Naomi know that she was sorry about trying to kill Holden because she knows Naomi loves Holden and she doesn't want Naomi to remember her in any negative way whatsoever, you know, and like, Girl, we gotta find you somebody, okay? We gotta, we gotta find you somebody who can love you back because you're making me sad, okay? That, that's it, that's all I gotta say. Okay, and so for the last thing that I wanna talk about in this episode is the ring opened up a bunch of other little rings to other systems, I'm assuming solar systems, tell me if I'm wrong, and now they are going to go and explore them because of course that's what humanity does. They knew that was gonna happen. And Holden thinks that this was part of Miller slash Proto Miller's plan all along, which means that the Proto Molecule has like mm, ulterior motives, okay? We also know that the Proto Molecule or the race that created the Proto Molecule was killed by another race and they could be somewhere out here in the solar system. And like, that's scary because we already can't control the proto molecule race people and they're like dead. So should we really be venturing out into other solar systems where something that killed something that we don't even understand is, is out there possibly ready to, to kill more things, you know? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very interested. It, it is a little bit kind of like Stargate, right? Where you can go to all these different places through this gate, except for in this case, it's like a ring, you know, which is kind of interesting, you know? Mm, I don't know. 
We also saw Christian back and it has been a minute since we saw her. Like I missed her. I want her more in next season. Like thank you for showing her me, me her, me her. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I am really interested in where these rings are gonna go. Like in the end, at the end of this episode, we saw the Rosinante, it appeared going through one of the rings. So they're going somewhere. We don't know where, they don't know where, but we're fucking going there, you know? And like the thing went, and then there was like a flash in Holden's eyes. So maybe he saw something else, you know, I don't know. Are we gonna keep Miller? Is he gonna stick around now? Because I would be okay with that, but also <laughs> makes me a little worried for Holden's state, mental state. Also Holden was standing naked on a beach, you know, which was part of his vision, which we didn't see before. We have a lot of new places to explore. We have a lot of new shit to figure out, which is kind of like, you know, maybe we should figure our shit out first before we like go to all these other places. But you know, humanity's probably never gonna figure their shit out to be honest. So, you know, we would never get to go there. So I guess it's good to go now. I don't know. I'm really interested in what like the tone and everything is gonna be for next season because this, whole time it's kind of been earth mars and the belt you know that's been the overarching conflict between everyone and now we're going into other solar systems and presumably there could be other races and other kinds of people out there that we could meet and is that going to create more conflict is it not going to create conflict <coughs> sorry you guys i really had to sneeze um what's gonna happen there i don't i don't know i don't know but i'm really interested to find out i love this show i love this show i love this show please tell me how much you love this show in the comments below talk to me you guys talk to me because like i need to talk about this episode like what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> all right but that is all that i'm going to say for now again let me know what you thought in the comments down below i'll probably do a season three q a if so i'll It'll be in the comments pinned and you can ask me questions there. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new years. If you're watching this then instead of when it airs, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in season four. Well, probably in the season three Q&A and then in season four. Until then. Bye guys.